Hello everybody, Aquarians, cross watchers, welcome to your video. I don't know what's going to come out, so I have two tarot decks as I usually do where I, I use a main deck and then I clarify. I have three different oracle decks I'm going to start off with. So we're going to see what wants to come out. We're going to get some guide cards here. I'm going to pull from the Spirit of the Animal Oracle first. Um, I want to start off by saying that all of you are beautiful and needed in this world and I want to thank all of you for being here. Everybody who shows up in the chat, thank you so much. Everyone who shows up for the video, thank you so much. Keep in mind, if you are a cross-watcher watching for an Aquarian, that the roles can be reversed, okay? Also keep in mind, it's a general reading, so maybe some messages apply and resonate, maybe some don't. All right. We have links. We have keeper of secrets. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and in solitude, you will find your strength. Almost remind you of the high priestess card, right? Keeper of secrets. So we have a strong card here about intuition knowing keeping it to yourself keeper of secrets okay show me what i need to see for this reading what else wants to come out show me what i need to see this is the wisdom of the oracle show me what i need to see we have orphan that's like a five of pentacles we have tick tock so maybe somebody's keeping it a secret that they miss you but there's a fate there's faded all right so there we have message in a bottle and we have the fates on the bottom of the deck i do believe i'm gonna keep this here in the background i do believe that there's going to be some sort of faded conversation i'll just put it like that first card out though was orphaned all right so and then TikTok. And I felt strongly with these two cards that somebody is keeping it to themselves, um, that they miss you. Then we have go the distance and yeah, to the sea. So somebody might literally be, you know, at the sea, sort of thinking, gathering their thoughts or whatever. But I do feel someone's sort of missing you. I do some feel like someone's keeping it to themselves, okay, with the keeper of secrets. But we have this go the distance. So there might be somebody here who goes from missing and thinking, you know. This, this sadness or whatever. Because these are two cards. Very similar energy. If you see the head, the head is bowed down. It's almost like talking to source. Asking for guidance. Trying to clear the head. Trying to find direction here. And it's like that becomes achieved here within a matter of time. And then there's quick. There's clarity. Everything is cleared. So I do feel that there's a destined faded conversation on the way i'm going to pull from the love oracle and see what wants to come out show me what i need to see this is the love oracle we have soulmate wow <laughs> it says soulmate twin flame soul contract soul connection past lives so a person who's thinking of you might be a soulmate twin flame someone you've shared past life somebody um soul contract there and we have two people holding hands and they're illuminated the lights are literally going around their hands so that's beautiful all right we got two more cards that came out and on the bottom i'm drawn to show this um i got a whole message with the bottom of the deck all right we have between lines hidden meaning vague um speculate implic implicate and we have toxic relationship and it says fighting codependent misunderstanding and trigger so somebody might be triggered um by you somebody might be triggered by your connection okay don't know that could be anything but with this on the bottom of the deck we have addiction it says toxic attachment drugs alcohol obsession i do feel 
two two messages. I do feel that somebody's in a toxic relationship. I do feel that um, maybe there's a person who's missing you who's in a toxic connection. And karmic connections will feed addictions, okay? Uh, typically, that's what a karmic connection does. It, it, um, it highlights the worst things so that you learn from them. That's the whole purpose. So it will highlight if a person has an addiction, it's not the karmic's fault that they have an addiction, but the karmic will help to feed that addiction. So somebody might be saying, hey, you need to chill out. You know, you need to have a drink or something of this nature. And that's toxic. It's a very toxic connection. But the other person, the karmic, is very aware of what they're doing because they're keeping a person under control. It's a form of control. Now, the other message I got with this is somebody might need some liquid courage to literally uh, reach out. You know, I don't know. I'm going to get into the tarot. Let's see what wants to come out here. I'm going to use... Um, this is going to be my clarifying deck, the Everyday Witch. I'm going to use the After Tarot as the main deck. We're going to get to the bottom of this, see what wants to come out. Somebody is hiding their feelings. Um, someone's missing you. Someone possibly is about to reach out to you, send a message or something of this nature. And it could be someone that you're aware of or not, because it does literally have everything covered. Twin Flame, Soul Contract. Um soul connection and past lives it's all connected under that soulmate card all right so let's do 10 cards for the celtic cross and then my phone dinged so definitely i feel it's external someone is definitely i feel stuck in a toxic relationship and thinking about you and it's a matter of time before there's going to be some sort of change in that last shuffle there's a little blockage there okay And turn it around. All right. Yeah, someone's trying to make a decision here to move forward and to reconnect. All right. Thing is, somebody doesn't know what to say. Somebody wants this more than anything. They don't know what to say. Yeah, and they also don't know how to get rid of that toxic connection. That's the bottom of the deck. All right, so there's some there's something to do with that. I'm going to clarify, but these are the bottom of the deck. Literally, before you and them can have a new beginning, there's got to be a karmic connection out of the way. Possible Aries, Leo, Sag. We'll find out. But somebody isn't happy with the situation so they want to start over that's how we're starting this off um the connection is favored we do have a lot of major arcana it's not over but before your beginning can start there has to be an ending with them and something else we have the high priestess in the reverse in the recent past. Cause that, that could be some sort of breaking of silence, some sort of something became exposed. And it has somebody here thinking about reconnecting, nine of pentacles in the reverse. Major decision, though. Near future is not literally acting on it just yet. Because I just heard that song, Say La Vie. You guys like to, when I channel songs, I don't know who sings it, but I'm hearing, say la vie, that's just the way it goes. Somebody's got to say, say la vie to somebody <laughs> first. So, however that resonates. Anyway, let's get into this. Uh, four cups, reverse, please, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody definitely wants um, to reunite. Somebody definitely wants union. Um, have a get-together talk whatever this is in a very positive light because this is four cups this is three of cups but they're pouring this out there's something they're not happy with in their life and they really just want to start over i imagine they're they're keeping it to themselves they're missing you possibly going out to the sea trying to think uh trying to be alone and just think um, gather their thoughts but there's a lot to do when it comes to starting over because this is reverse and having you know 
this is this is a good card in this case it's not third party it's a celebration it's a union it's coming together and, and having a talk it's communication it's this message in a bottle but it might literally be in person tell me about the two of swords I want to thank everybody who shows up for the reading and everyone who shows up for the live. Thank you so much. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, this is the Five of Pentacles landed on the chariot. So um, they're really trying to make a decision should they focus on this or if they should leave it alone, all right? This is what it's all about. Should I, should I do this or not? You know, we have... Like I said, this card came out. This is somebody really sitting in some thoughts, some heavy thoughts. This is the same energy, okay? This is the card I referred to when it came out, Five of Pentacles. So someone is really sitting in their thoughts trying to discern for themselves, you know, what should I do? Um, what should I do? Should I leave it alone? Should I focus on this? Um, so someone's in a lot of decision and maybe because, you know, maybe it's a battle of the mind or maybe it would literally be a battle. Um, you know, if there is, a, you know, it, there is a third party, but it's a person that is needing to get out. Okay. It's a karmic energy. So with that being said, they might even be, um, thinking about letting that karmic energy go because that's what this is the bottom of the deck so them trying to decide should what should i let go of they are literally thinking about what should i let go of and it, it's going to come down to letting go of the karmic or just um not connecting with you but i really feel that they're seeing the toxicities in this karmic relationship they're seeing that they're controlled they're seeing that a person might be offering them or, or controlling them through sex or substance abuse or whatever using their weaknesses to control them is how they're doing it all right tell me about the root nine of pentacles reverse now five of pentacles upright nine of pentacles in reverse it, it can literally even be a major loss a loss in money even um but this is about a relationship and and a, and a strong connection with another person so it's about releasing a toxic relationship because someone is keeping to themselves another person who is on their mind and this is external to you tell me about the nine of pentacles reverse yeah ace of wands reverse ten of pentacles reverse and three of wands upright so this is a this is a person who's thinking about a new beginning with you this Ten of Pentacles is, um, if they can't start a new beginning with you because of finances, that's one thing. That's definitely here on the table. But this is also, for me, Nine of Pentacles reverse is someone who wants to um, come together with you, all right, um, and have a new beginning. So there's something about that. There, but there is another issue, you know, there is another issue. But it does seem like they might not have enough money to do something or stability i shouldn't say money maybe they're not stable enough okay depending on um you know especially if they have to let go of something that just came to me if they have to let go of some sort of partying lifestyle maybe they feel like they're not stable enough to be in a connection tell me about the high priestess in reverse the higher font yeah So this is very interesting. You have spiritual, you have keeper of secrets. This is what I said, that's a high priestess card. You have breaking the silence. We have the higher font. The recent past is giving thought to breaking the silence. If there's been no communication, nothing going on, it might be somebody saying okay it's time it's time to just you know break the silence it's ridiculous um i'm going to act out of my higher self the higher font okay these are two uh spiritual beings here but this is the teacher 
they get to a certain level and things get unlocked okay and it's sort of like that in life too when we achieve certain levels in life things get unlocked for us in life so this is the the, the past energy the recent past of maybe it's time to break the silence you know the right thing to do the higher self it's time to break the silence the higher font is Taurus energy we have the high priestess which is Pisces Virgo energy and um, we have cancer energy here we have a lot of major arcana coming out to the future so this is the basis of things there is a karmic cycle that needs to be released it could be a person because of a relationship there what crowns this? What crowns this is when I heard that song, Say La Vie, Five of Swords. That Five of Swords, um, it's literally somebody who can do whatever they need to do to get their way. Sometimes it's a card related to the narcissist. Sometimes it's a card of mental conflict, someone who can't get out of their mind. So let's just see what it wants to be clarified with. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Wow, okay. This is literally a conflict. Okay. The conflict is somebody is guided here to surrender to their happiness. All right. Um, because this nine of wands is on the bottom next to the Leo. Or somebody has to literally surrender a Leo. Someone could literally have a falling out with a Leo or fight. Um, but it will be a karmic Leo. So if you're a Leo watching for your Aquarius, if you're the twin flame of the divine feminine, this is not you. This would be a karmic Leo. Okay. Um, so this is what it's about. Now it's external to you. I do know a few of you are dealing with Leos. A few of you Aquarians are dealing with Leos. And those Leos may be having a falling out with someone that they're with. Okay, um, like I said, someone's in deep thought over here, and it's a matter of time. They're trying to gain some clarity, and there's been thought in the recent past about breaking the silence, and the way you might know that this is happening is because you might have a very strong urge to communicate or reach out. You might even do it. You might not, but sometimes that's an indicator that they're having this, um, they're having these thoughts. So just so you know that. We still have the chariot in reverse. It's the near future. So let's find out. That just means it's the near future. Okay. Because we end off with trying to gain clarity. Even though the conditions are right. There's a lot going on with this person's head. Or this person has to literally get out of a toxic connection first. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah. This landed on the... Nine of Pentacles reverse and the chair reverse. Really, somebody doesn't, um, maybe someone doesn't know how to start the conversation. Somebody doesn't know what to say. The Page of Cups is a heart to heart conversation. It's being sincere. Maybe someone isn't able to, um, maybe it has nothing to do with the mind. Maybe it has to do with being in a very uh, toxic relationship wanting to reach out and have a conversation but not literally being able to um it could be that i the chariot is also a car so it's like depending on how toxic this person is that they're with they could literally just be tracked you know the phone is tracked with the car or wherever their movements are um like that's not for everybody, but somebody could literally just be really being watched here because this is the whole thing that it's karmic. It needs to get out of this situation. It's very toxic for this person. It's the main reason this person is not able to connect with you. Somebody might um, come out on a whim without another person knowing. Um, I see energy of that here on the bottom of the deck. There is something to that. Like, so the chariot is a large vehicle. The Knight of Wands is a smaller vehicle. Um, or it's okay. I'm getting specific message. Um, 
So let's just say the chariot is like the main vehicle. If someone's being watched, tracked or whatever through their phone or whatever, and someone knows this, someone might use an alternate vehicle that they use from time to time, like a family member's vehicle or something like that to sort of go around because there's no, there's no tracking there or something like that. Even makes me think of like fleet vehicles, commercial vehicles, vehicles that have tracking on them. So maybe they're in a toxic relationship and in a business partnership with someone. And it's like they know where things are at. I, I don't know. I'm getting too specific. Anyway, there's something about wanting to connect with you, thinking of you. But they're in a toxic relationship. They have to get out of it. They're keeping their, their, their feelings a secret. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is reversed twice. It's like, I don't know how to get to you to talk to you. Six of Swords, they feel stuck. You know, they feel stuck. Now, if they're not literally stuck, don't know what to say because it's that. They are literally stuck because they're being, I don't know, watched or they have a lot of responsibilities because there's that too. This is like a lot of responsibilities. You know, I have a lot of responsibilities. I don't have a lot of extra time. I'm always on the go. Uh, there's that. Tell me about the world. The world is fixed energy. It's Aquarius. It's Leo. It's Scorpio. It's Taurus. It's unfinished business. It's a new beginning about ready to start as soon as something else closes out. Tell me about that. Six of Wands. Okay. Okay. This, this toxic relationship or cycle with them needs to close out before there's any sort of success between you and them or any success when it comes to, I feel, you and them. I do feel that they're trying to find a way to communicate. I feel that they literally have a problem. There is could be a literal 3D problem. If it's not a, a mental thing, like not knowing what to say, there's literally a 3D problem in the way of them communicating with you. Give me another card for that. Six of Wands reverse. It landed here. Yeah, it landed here on this Ace of Wands. Yeah, they're in a relationship with somebody else and they can't. It's hard. Or, or you are. Somebody is. Somebody's in a connection, and it's not that easy. But whoever is in the connection, it's it's toxic. And that connection needs to be let go of before the connection between you and them can start up. So there's just sort of this holding back. Until somebody chooses to release something, and it could be a Leo. It's a King of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Keep in mind, even though I name off these signs, you don't have to be dealing with these signs because we all have a little bit of everything. And, you know, some of these signs might resonate with sun, moon, and rising because moon sign has a lot to do with your emotions. And if this is something somebody feels like doing, some of these signs might be their moon sign or your moon sign. Also, the rising sign is the physical body, and it's the physical body. What direction are you going, and how do people perceive you? So the, the rising sign is also important. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's really thinking it up here. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's got a lot of emotions, okay? And they're sitting with these emotions. And, you know, literally, these emotions are brewing they're brewing and the top is about to blow off. And I feel that what's going to happen is the emotions are going to get stirred up enough that there's going to be a surrender. That's when whoever's in this sort of toxic situation, it just comes to an end, comes to a head. Things are very, very favorable. The only problem is somebody has to learn a lesson to love themselves enough to get out of a toxic lifestyle. Like I said, um, a karmic will offer you the things that are bad for you. They'll know your weaknesses. But I feel this is external. 
but I could be wrong. It's maybe it's you. You're deal maybe you are dealing with this Aquarius. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse. That's about clarity, yeah. And it's a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So I have the Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody needs to know some clarity, possibly about a fire sign, before they make any sort of whatever. <laughs> This is like, I want to make sure that this is not going to be just some in and out thing. All right. Um, I want to be sure that it's just you and me and not another person. You're not giving to someone else before I make the decision to do this. So someone is thinking very hard here about doing something. All right. And before they do it, they want to make sure the other person is out of the picture. The other person is toxic. The other person is controlling on some level. The other person might have fire in their chart. So I'm going to close out with a bonus card. If this reading relates to you, um, I hope I delivered for you. It could be external to you, okay? This could be external, somebody you love who's going through this. But it definitely seems like someone's secretly thinking of you, having feelings for you, and somebody is stuck in a toxic relationship. Strong fire. Bonus card. No. I can't take all those. Jeez. This is a beautiful card, though. All right. I'll take them all, but I'll just read the tops. I'll read the tops. I won't read the whole thing. Because there's a bunch of them. First card here, we have, you will manifest what you need. All right. So, first of all, bonus card, you're going to manifest what you need, no matter what. Be the real you. So... I think it's the real you that this person absolutely is drawn to. I think that you're already the real you, but if this person comes in, don't try to be someone else. Just be you. Embrace this magical moment. So that might be somebody who reaches out, okay, because someone's literally thinking about it. And, you know, I can't help but think of this. Matter of time here. Go the distance. It's fast. Trust your angels. So this means trust also what you're guided to do. Trust your nudges, your feelings, your signs, your synchronicities. What are you seeing when you're out there? You know, do you see a big billboard that says get ready? Are you seeing 444? Um, is somebody saying something to you? Are you clicking on the TV and then this message comes out of random, just, you know, scrolling through? Pay attention. Prioritize yourself. Self care. Be like the Queen of Pentacles when it comes to that. Did I skip a card? No take care of yourself no matter what and it's with love you see how all those hearts love yourself absolutely love yourself and your vibration is rising so from love and self-love your vibration is rising and i actually watched uh, a near-death experience video and the lady got sick with cancer she she went she went to the light and they told her why she got sick was because she wasn't loving herself she wasn't doing things that made herself happy when she came back into life cancer free making herself happy loving herself and she's great and alive today love yourself is so important and this is a blessing in disguise so there is a higher connection coming in all right, I will read this one. It says, be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dare dream. So I feel like you have something coming in, someone coming in that's better than you ever dreamed of, better than you ever expected. But somebody's got to release a toxic person, a toxic cycle. Someone is secretly keeping their feelings hidden from you and probably they haven't told anybody how they feel about you anyway guys i love you thanks for showing up for the reading and the chat i'll see you in the next one and namaste my friends